but Nelson, uh, Drew Nelson is going to help Dwight Howard put some tape and a marker. Everyone's got tape and markers now. And what is this? What's in that? So, what's it? I know he's not going to jump over Jameer. Oh, Superman's Superman in the building. building. Yeah, Superman cave. Superman is in the building. Or he's going to put it on, right? <laughs> Superman is in the building. Yes, he is. Clark Kent is winning the full booth and he comes out and Superman is came to the building. Shalom, Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to our powers. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Racha, Hakwadash. Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught us this truth that a country will and well through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh. Shalom, peace, mercy, and blessings to my sincere beloved brethren that are out there pushing this word wholeheartedly in truth and in sincerity that are not way run to the left nor to the right but constantly staying on that straight and they're fighting for your crowns in these last days that we are truly living in shalom to the few sisters the aguas that are out there shalom to the israelite foreigners those that may look like the other nations but their seed line goes back to our forefathers abraham isaac and jacob hearty shalom dwight howard another shameful israelite okay and um you know, the first clip I played, um, you know, dealing with, you know, his Superman duck, all right, which, you know, like my man Shaq said, you know, really, Dwight Howard don't even really deserve to be even called a uh, Superman, you know, which we know in the Hebrew, when you break down Superman's name, call El, okay, call meaning all, and then Allah meaning powerful, you know, which Dwight Howard is a 610 pretty much strong Israelite man but look at this man shameful man you know especially was you know coming out about him which these allegations have been going on for years but they're no longer allegations man you know and this is you know another Israelite that is why these these nations look down upon us you know because our people our men have become the face of the alphabet people, man, you know? Um, and it's, it's, it's a goddamn shame, you know? Matter of fact, let me get a scripture first before I even go uh, to my next clip, okay? All right, because, you know, as God's chosen people according to the Bible, all right, we are not to conduct ourselves in, you know, alphabet activities, right? But you got our people in a sports realm, the entertainment realm, whether it's uh, music, whether it's acting, you know, and they all partake in these different fraternities and they all get turned out, all right, by other individuals and they start to have a uh, sodish ways, man, you know, demonic spirits that, you know, pretty much consume these individuals. You see what I'm saying? And it brings nothing but shame, man. Okay. Um... So let me go over here to the book of uh, Lamentations. 
right? Here we go. This is uh, Lamentations chapter 2. Verse 15, it says, All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their heads at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found, we have seen it, all right? And everybody, especially the other nations, have seen the downfall of Israel, you know? All right? And these other nations make mockery of us, okay? Especially because of how far gone and how low our people have uh, become, you know, in this society, man, you know? And um, let me let me play this real fast, all right? What happened to Dwight Howard? Come on down here too, boy! <laughs> After seemingly disappearing from the NBA, Dwight Howard has been going mega viral, making memes and trying to recruit other NBA stars to the Taiwan Leopards. But why isn't Dwight in the NBA anymore? After redeeming his career by being a crucial factor in the Lakers' 2020 bubble championship, it seemed like Dwight had found himself a home and would be in the league for years to come. But entering the current NBA season, not a single team offered Dwight a contract, so he went overseas to Taiwan. Maybe it's his age, maybe it's the NBA slowly moving away from his type of center, but either way, it's safe to say that Dwight's living his best life in Taiwan. What happened to Dwight? That boy ain't getting picked up because what's being spread about him, I right? He like being the bottom, you know? He like getting his rectum blown out, you know? And <laughs> that's why it was a point in time where he took some time off in this season, you know, got to wear fucking plugs, and his behind because of the type of shit he be doing, you know, and he just recently got caught up in a in a triangle between uh Kitty and Sissy, you know, him, Kitty and Sissy, you know what I'm saying? And they all men, you know, because that's how Dwight Howard uh, gets down. You see what I'm saying? And um, like I said, again, man, that's shameful spewing to our people, man. And this and this is and this is why the Lord ultimately, you know, he's going to do away with America, man, because. America definitely has a uh, perverse uh, spirit that is uh, mingled in the mix of this place, you know. I right, and that perverse spirit is, um, you know, that men with men doing things that is unseemly in this uh, society, man. Right? You know, that's why a lot of men got to burn, they got to go, okay, because they're filthy, polluted, man. Right? right? Uh, let's go over here to the book of, um, let me see. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 14, it says, The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit, man. All right? Perverse spirit, a very demonic and decrepit, evil, a right? dirty spirit, okay, is going all throughout um, Babylon the Great, all right? And it's hopping on all type of individuals, whether it's with women or whether it's with men, all right? Either way, you know, the Lord didn't create us to swing that way, you know, but you got a lot of these individuals that are definitely swinging that way, man, you know, I right? and nothing comes good of right, being with the uh, the same uh, gender, man. Nothing comes good of it. I'm going to just say it like that because I'm trying to watch out for, uh, you know, YouTube uh, algorithms, you know, so they don't cut this video. But um, let me play this video right here. Um, I was going to do some editing, but. You know, I'm pretty much just going to make it raw and straight to the point because uh, I know brothers have seen this. And, you know, this dude is definitely uh, all throughout the headlines being uh, talked about. So um, let me drop this video right here. The why, the why, the why. Now, this, this is where I'm going to start. Before I talk about the why, before we talk about... Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. 
We got to stop telling people, I don't care what you do on your own time. Because <laughs> we do care. We did. Cam, Cam is lying if he tell you, he, yo, I, I don't care what you do on your own time. And then Stat follows up. And women, you got to stop. For real, put the camera on me. For real. We got to stop telling niggas what you do in your own personal time has nothing to do with me. It does, my nigga. If you, if you call, come on, man. It, it, it does matter. It does matter. That, those are the lies that are going on in society. We tell people it don't matter, but behind... You know what? And I'm going to say this. It does matter how, you know, we conduct ourselves and whom we are as a people, as a nation, all right? And what laws we should be following and whom we're under, all right? Because the Lord said what? Deuteronomy uh, 14 and uh, 2. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Everybody want to see Jake jump high. Everybody want to see Jake run fast across the field. Everybody want to see Jake, you know what I'm saying, hit them vocal cords or, you know what I'm saying, perform them um, acting roles. And everybody comes out to see Jake because, why wow, we the greatest. That's what makes us that peculiar treasure that people that everybody inspires to whom they want to be. All the nations want to be like us because we got that sauce. We got that flavor, man, you know, but the Lord said what well, we are holy people. We are a separate people, you know, and when our people do these heathenistic customs and they follow after the ways of the heathen, man, it makes our people be what in a shameful light, man, you know, so it does matter. All right. It does matter. This is why the Lord said, you know, um, follow not after the ways of the heathen all right and and do none of their ways man you know but since our people are in a heathenistic babylonian confused mindset this is why shameful spewing all right uh consumes our people and we get laughed at we get mocked at you know what i'm saying okay because of this type of um activity and there's other examples that are out there but i'm just using this one as a you know edification purpose for 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 this what's in the headlines for right now Right. Tell people it don't matter, but behind your back it matters, oh. and that's what we got to first oh, start off by saying. Like you hear, you hear stats saying this because what people do in their bedroom, that's between them. <laughs> Not necessarily true. But I understand. I understand. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Because you're telling them it don't matter. But then it does matter. And anybody watching this knows it does matter. Even to people that participate, it matters. Because people would say, oh, it don't matter. And as soon as they find out, they out they're out in them, so it matters. Yeah. You know, oh, and when it shit, comes down to making story. money off the story, it matters. When it comes down to who dating you, is going to matter. When it comes down to it, look at Cam. What is good to Cam on Cam? When it comes down to if you're going to be in the locker room with them, it matters. Because there's about 30 teams that did not sign Dwight Howard because it matters. So let, let's dispel that. That's the first thing we got to dispel. The second thing is that is consensual. It's never consensual if you surprise somebody. Yeah, 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 this is, and um, I don't be meaning to laugh. Sometimes I make myself laugh, but it's not funny, but it is funny. Stupid, Yo, he said it's consensual. <laughs> so just, uh, just think, you're somewhere, you're with somebody, and somebody walk out of the side door with a leprechaun outfit on. It's not longer consensual. Yo. It's no, not man. consensual. Yo. 
Yo, it's not like consensual. Y'all want me to keep? <laughs> y'all want me to keep going? Cause this is this makes sense. It makes sense, but people be lying, and folks can't get help if y'all lie. So that's not um, consensual. <laughs> consensual is agreeing beforehand on what's gonna happen. If it's not agreed to beforehand, it's not consensual. Young guys need to know this. Young ladies need to know this. It's not consensual if it's not agreed to beforehand. To put somebody on the spot and say, oh, it's consensual. No, it doesn't consensual. It doesn't work like that. Like, growing up, I met a girl at the club. I tell her, listen, I only do the first night. If we got to wait, I can't do it. Because I don't got time like that. <laughs> Tomorrow ain't promise. You know, I've changed since then a little bit, but... <laughs> bring that nigga back outside. <laughs> like, yo, bring that nigga back. I miss that nigga. <laughs> Tomorrow is not promise. I miss that nigga, it's man. It's tonight only. It's tonight yo, only. bring him back out. <laughs> that nigga was with me in the whole house. <laughs> Yeah, Cam would say, what you told her? I told her it's tonight only. No, man. If it can't happen tonight, it never happened. Oh, shit. She man. said, well, tomorrow <laughs> is going to be better for me. I said, I won't need it tomorrow. <laughs> I need it tonight. Oh, shit. <laughs> but, he ain't li- he's not lying, yo. He's definitely not lying. Yeah, we need he's it definitely tonight. not lying. So it's 100%. He said, well, my friend's going to be in town. I'm going to have a babysitter tomorrow. Forget the kids. <laughs> tonight or no night. And tonight is the only night that matters. What I will say is this. They better hope Kitty don't come out of the closet. <laughs> out the little box. Because <laughs> Kitty come out that little box, shit could get real ugly, man. I would love to hear uh, Kitty's point of view on would this. Would you have Kitty on the show? I wish Kitty ain't no damn woman. That's a damn dude. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, man, you know, brothers could go check it out, get the full scoop on the story, you know what I'm saying, see what's going on. Um, just want to just share those couple clips, but I'm going to go over here to the Book of Romans, um, chapter 1, and verse uh, 24. It says, Wherefore the Most High have gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth for the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever, Amon. For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving that natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meant. Okay. And that's why, you know, you got a lot of STDs and HIV and things of that nature that go on because the most high here definitely, um, give you over, you know, to them, uh, diseases that are to destroy you, man, because of that type of unclean act that, you know, Jake be doing that, that Greek, you know, mentality that Jake got on, like that Greek custom that Jake's still carrying that energy to this day, man, you know, which a lot of these individuals ain't nothing more than uh, reprobates, man, you know, like Dwight said, he, he ain't, he ain't a mo, but he just nasty, nah, I'm gonna say it like Riley, nah, nigga, you gay, <laughs> okay, you know, and, and your how about you, my shy, he gonna, yeah, he, he gonna leave you like a bundle of sticks in the fire, man. You know what I'm saying? He gonna burn you. Up. You know that that's exactly what's gonna happen to all individuals that you know want to partake in these uh, unclean and filthy acts, man. Lord gonna burn you in that fire, man. When the Lord sent forth them ICBMs, man. You know, um, it says verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, all right, because what comes with attaining retaining the Most High in knowledge, all right, um, denying that perverse and wicked spirit, all right, knowing what the uh, law, statutes, and commandments say, all right, what is uh, good with the Most High and what is not good with the Most High, you know? So knowing what's not good with the Most High, you're going to fear them and not do them, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you that a lot of our people, they don't have fear of Yahweh, but the Lord's going to make them fear in the end, all right? Everything that you wicked Israelites are doing, all right, because you decide to 
um, deny your powers. All right, guess what? The Lord's gonna make you fear Him in the end. All right. So it says, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Okay. So um, with that, I'm gonna just end it right there. Make the point. Lord willing, y'all edify. Shalom.